ya para sota lagi ya maku shala kadi zipa ida fakadishi ya kaya gabu kada in the name of jesus god bless every one of you as you tune in wonderful day God bless you welcome on board karibu sana katika program ya leo ambao naamini ya kwamba Mungu anakwenda kutubariki sana Welcome, welcome, welcome. God bless you, God bless you. Please, when you tune in, kindly help me to share the broadcast. Invite somebody so that we may get blessed together. Unapu ingia. Tafadhali saidia kushia eh, broadcast hii ndio tuweze kubarikiwa tukiwa wengi share to somebody you can also tag somebody in the broadcast in the name of Jesus welcome 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 it's an amazing uh, moment that God has given us to be together and I believe that God has a plan for us God has a plan for each and every one of us please share the broadcast invite somebody let us get blessed together yeah you can share the broadcast tag somebody invite somebody let me know where you are watching from how you are getting us you have two billion above your unanipata na unatutapata ukiwa wapi unatazama ukiwa wapi Mungu anakwenda kutubariki sana siku ya leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo In the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ Karibuni sana Welcome so much Welcome so much God bless you God bless you God bless you God bless you and may the Lord God bless you for tuning in. Mm -hmm. It's a moment of uh, sharing the word of God together, especially uh, this topic of divine promotions. Uh, divine promotions. And your messenger about nataka kuongea. Na nasikia mungu kuna kitu nataka kufanya karika maisha ya mtu siku ya leo. Sio naomba tu mahali ulipo unapoingia isaidie kushare the broadcast and isaidie kualika mtu tupate kubarikiwa pamoja Father I thank you because of this wonderful moment you have given to us we bless your name we honor you spirit of god come and take over minister to each and every one of us speak a word a rema word to us that is going to change our lives in the name of the lord jesus christ Powers of darkness, every powers of opposition, they have no place in this service. I pray that there is going to be a communication and a mighty flow of your spirit uh, from this altar to where your people are watching from. Lord, I want to bless and honor your name because of what you are about to do and what you, are of, you have already done. In Jesus' precious name we pray and we believe. Amen and amen. God bless you so much. Uh, as you tune in, kindly talk to me. Let me know where you're watching from. Niambia tu na nipata ukiwa wapi. Mungu anakwenda kutubariki. Divine promotions. That is my topic today. And that is my teaching and I believe something supernatural going to happen in your life as you follow through this service. 
Let's go to our opening scripture. Eh, andiko ambao tunakwenda kuanza nayo. In the book of Psalms 75 verse number uh, 6 and 7. Psalm 75. Psalm 75. That is our key uh, verse today as we discuss on this topic about divine promotions. Psalm 75 verse number 6. For promotion cometh north, cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south but God but God is the judge he putteth down one and setteth up another but God but God verse number 7 but God is the judge he putteth down one and set it up another kwa nini nime leta ujumbe huu kwa sababu nimesikia in the special realm kuna watu wengi sana ambao is like wame tumekwama one level it's like there's no progress in our lives it's like there's no uh, advancing it's like people wamewekewa what we call a ceiling it's like there is a a demonic ceiling katika anga za watu wa Mungu ambao they are intercessors, they love God, believers, Christians, and many people wamewekewa kitu kinaitangwa a demonic ceiling. Tupata ya kwamba mtu huyu ni kama amekwama mahali pamoja. Mtu huyu ni kwamba ni kama mambo ambayo anayafanya aileti matunda. Ni kama huyu mtu anafanya kitu inaitangwa retrograding, ni kama anazunguka mahali pamoja. Remember the Bible is very clear that our God raises us from one level of glory to another level of glory. Anytime there is stagnation, that is not the work of God. Remember in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse number 6. Anazeme ya kwamba, akawakujia, Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse number 6. Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse number 6. Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse number 6. The Lord our God spake unto us in order, saying, You have dealt long enough in this mountain. Mungu akatunanea tulipo kuwa katika mulima wa Oreb. Akatuambia, mumekaa apa sana. You have dealt long enough. Kuna watu mungu amenituma kwao with this prophetic message. And I believe somebody somewhere, God is about to open a new chapter for you. Bible is very clear. Ya kwamba halikuja akawambia mumekaa hapa mahali hapa kwa muda mrefu. Verse number 7. Turn you and take your journey and go to the mount of the Amorites and unto the all places night there there unto in the plain in the hills and in the vale and in the south and by the seaside to the land of the Canaanites and the and, and unto Lebanon unto the great river the river Euphrates so akawaambia mmekaa hapa sana there are places you must occupy kuna mahali ambapo panawangojea remember the last statement that Jesus told the disciples occupy till i come there is a place you must occupy this july i don't know why and i sijui kwa nini Mungu amenipa hii message ni nene wakati kama huu. But najua one thing about God. Hawezi akawachilia neno lake ikaenda bila kutimiza mapenzi yake. Kuna mtu amekwama kiroho. Kuna mtu anasikia is like things are not adding up. Kuna mtu anasikia hapa nilipo. Something is not good. Something is not right. And I'm here by the prophetic mandate. Nikiwa nimebeba sauti ya unabii Mina isa kuwa si nabii mkubwa lakini najua Mungu akitaka kufanya jambo anatumia vyombo dhaifu. I allow God to use me today and I'm ready to be used by God today so that we may break this the cycles of stagnation. The cycles of stagnation by divine promotions. The Bible imetuambia kwamba Psalm 75 verse 5 uh, 6 and 7 ya kwamba promotion does not come from the south neither from the east or south, but promotion comes from above. He lifts others. Now this is your time. And this is your time for God to lift you. 
Hii ndio wakati wako. Mungu akutoa one level, akupeleka to another level. And anything that is working against your rising, that is a demonic force. That is a demonic power. We are going to silence it in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah somebody. So promotion does not come from east. Promotion does not come from west. Promotion does not come from the south. But promotion comes from above. If you are connected, type there, my time for promotion has come. My time for divine promotion has come. My time for divine promotion has come. My time for divine promotion has come. My time has come for divine promotion. My time has come for divine promotion. Listen to this powerful scripture. Psalm 113 verse number 7. Zaburi miyamoja kuminatatu. Stari ni ule wa saba. Psalm 113 verse number 7. Psalm 113 verse number 7. Psalm 113 verse number 7. There's a promotion coming into your life. Kuna promotion inakoja kwako. He raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted the need lifted the needy out of the downhill anamuinua maskini kutoka mavumbini you know the word poor does not just mean lack of money does not just la mean lack of food the word poor inamaanisha kupungukiwa kwa aina fulani na kila mtu ambaye anaishi dunia anakupungukiwa kwa jambo fulani you might not be having uh, that that uh, lack of money but there is something that you lack. That thing you lack, that is where you need a divine promotion. Iyo kitu meakosa, hapu ndi unaitaji something we call divine promotion. Let me tell you, nothing and nothing God will do. Hakuna kitu mungu atawifanya bila kutumia mtu. Na hakuna pia kitu shetani atafanya bila kutumia mtu. Because the two kingdoms, they are driven by spirits. Is of Almembil, our kingdom about the kingdom of light. It is powered by the Spirit of God, by the Holy Spirit. The kingdom of darkness is powered by demons. So in the kingdom of God, come and raw itafanya kazi, there must be a spoken word. Remember the Bible says, in the beginning God created the heaven and earth, and the word that the earth was formless and without end, blah, blah, blah. And God said, when he said, kuliefanyika vitu za kuonekana. Therefore, the Bible is very clear, inasama ya kwamba, God raised the poor from the dust. Anawainua maskini kutoka mavumbi. I pray for everybody. Naombea mtu wa maya na nitanzama siku ya leo. And this is what you need from God. Na hii ndiyo sauti ya mungu likuwa nangwajia. I pray in the name of Jesus. May there be a lifting in your life. May God promote you from this moment. Hako walikuwa wanafikiria uwezi ukatoka. You know, there are people who has already written off you. Kuna watu wanasame ya kwamba, you cannot make it. They are witches. They are demonic angels. They are workers of iniquity. What about they have written off your story? Wamesha asema ya kwamba, uwezi ukatoka hapo. But at that level, that level of mockery, that level of being looked down upon, that level of being rejected, that level of rejection, there is God who lifted the poor from the dust. Kuna mungu ambaye na wainua wadhaifu, wanyonge, maskini, kutoka mavumbi. He lifted Anna. I'm going to read a story of Anna. Anna alifika maani. Akawa, she has been, she has been rejected. Amekataliwa. Even the servant of God. Halikuwa nakuja kwa madhabawa na muuniza. This kind of prayers you pray, you pray, it's like God has not, eh, has no time for you. Halikuwa mefika maali, ata ye mwenye wa kaona, it's like, my story is over. Lakin, apu walikuwa, because of the lack of a child. That is the level of poverty halikuwa na, halikuwa na zile vitu zingine. Lakini halikuwa na umaskini wakukosa mtoto. Halikuwa na waba wakutokuwa na mtoto. But that time, because promotion comes from above. Na shukuru mungu sababi ya mtunishu wa mungu. Eli, a word from above came into Eli and he spoke it out. When he released the word, a promotion, all of a sudden, this woman was lifted from dust. Akakalisho e jiu. Divide promotion. You know, some of you might be asking me, what do you mean when you talk about promotion? What is promotion? 
promotion is betterment promotion is betterment ni ile kufanywa ukuwe bora promotion is exhortation ni kuinuliwa ni wakati anasema ya kwamba i cut off the the uh, the, the own of the wicked but i exhort the head of the righteous the head of the righteous people ama nainua upembe wa waandilifu so promotion is what i'm calling exhortation promotion is betterment wherever you are watching me from i pray in the name of jesus may god better your life mungu akupatie betterment of your life betterment in your business betterment in your studies betterment in your career betterment in your ministry betterment in your family because that is what i'm calling divine promotion What is a divine promotion? Divine promotion is an advancement. Is an advancement. As you are watching me, I pray because God is the one who advances us. May you begin to advance from one level to another in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you are connected, shout hallelujah. Someone say amen. So promotion is an advancement. Is when God raises you from one level to another level is when there is an advancement spiritual advancement physical advancement financial advancement health advancement social advancement oh my god i pray for you in the name of jesus may god give you advancement hallelujah what is promotion promotion is what makes a uh, one head and what what makes one the head and not the tail That is what we call promotion, divine promotion. It is what makes you the head and not the tail. The Bible says, I will make you the head and not the tail. Wherever you are, I pray by the grace of God, may you become the head and not the tail. May you become the head and not the tail. I wish you you could comment there because the more you interact with me, the more God is going to release your word because for you to advance from one level to another, you need a prophetic word. You need a prophetic word to be spoken over your life. Unahitaji neno inene katika anga yako. Let me know where you're watching me from. Let me know where you are connected uh, from. God is going to bless us in the name of Jesus. What is a promotion? A promotion, a divine promotion is when God brings to nothing history and protocols. What is divine promotion? It is what it is when God brings to nothing. Yaani wakati Mungu anafanya protocols zikue hazina maana. Yaani wakati Mungu yani from no qualification and then God qualifies you. You know there are some some of you. I prayed with one one lady another day. Akaniambia mimi nime, nimezunguka sina kazi. Na mtumishi wa Mungu mimi naenda kufanya interview. Please speak a word. Speak a word. Nimetoka from four. Sina karatasi. Kila mahali naenda naitishwa a eh, eh, working experience. Naitishwa document ya experience plan. Naitishwa document ya ya graduation. Naitishwa hii, naitishwa nimesomea nini. So, ni, so the, the lady loved God. Alikuwa anapenda Mungu na anapenda maombi sana. Na nikamwambia, "Now do you believe in God?" Akaniambia, "Yes, I do." Are you born again? Yes, I'm born again. Oh, so you believe in God? Ha, huh? you believe in miracles? Nikamwambia, "What I'm going to pray for you is just what I call divine promotions from God." You can't imagine. Alienda akafanya kazi kulikuwa na mtu alikuwa na, na degree. Because it is when God just stamps you to qualify where you don't qualify. That is what we call divine promotion. And unless God does a miracle for you, you will never know whether there is God who can do miracles. That's why I'm here today. I know that you might be watching me. Najua unaweza kuna nitanzama saa hii. Things are not adding up in your life. Sijakuja kwa kila mtu. Nataka mtu ambaye anasema ya kwamba man of God, I need a divine intervention in my life. I need a divine promotion. So I pray to this lady over the phone. Nilimwambia kupitia simu. Nikamwambia I speak divine promotions over your life. The next interview you are going to to to, to be interviewed. You are going to receive favor like never before. You are going to get the answers of your uh, of your prayers. God is going to fulfill the uh, desires of your heart. Believe it or not, she went after one week, she went for that interview and she passed. As we are talking, anafanya kazi. What happened? A word from a man of God. You need you need you need a word. You need a word. Nimekuambia roa Mungu kama atafanya kazi lazima kuneno neno. That's why I'm here to speak over your life. Anything that is against your promotion. Oh my God. 
I dissolve it by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Nguvu yoyote inapigana na promotion yako. Kwa uwezo wa damu ya Yesu Kristo. Hiyo nguvu ina mamlaka ten. Hiyo nguvu ina uwezo ten. Inasambaratika as you shout amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Lepra soko vikata. Zalibra handu skataya. Mele braso vikatai kapura na kuska handia kataya bagata. I prophesy divine promotions over your life. Let there be divine promotions. Protocol, let protocols be broken for you to advance. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Nasema protocols. Mipangilio ya wanadamu. Iyondoleo. Upate upenyu. Upate promotion. Upate mulango wako wa next level umefunguka. Katika jina la Yesu Kiso. Sema hallelujah. Divine promotion. Divine promotion. Divine promotion is when God makes you the head and not the tail. Divine promotion is when God breaks protocols. Like the days of Esther. Wakati wa Esther. Just protocols were just broken. Na Esther akajipata. Ashia enda mbele. Na ashia pata baraka za mungu. Na ashia pata promotion. Kutoka just a mere girl to be a queen. It takes divine promotion. Divine promotion is when God breaks protocols, is when God uh, does away with men quali qualities and qualifications for you just to rise. Your time to rise has come. Your time to arise and shine has come. In the name of Jesus, what is a divine promotion? Divine promotion is when God demotes others for his people to rise. For his people to rise. Divine promotion is when God demands the wicked for his righteous people to be on top. Alishusha Naaman, Alishusha Aman, this man in the book of Esther, Alishusha Aman, akamuinua Mordecai. That is what I call divine promotion. Divine promotion, ni wakati mungu ameshusha muof. Diyo ni mekusomea scripture yiko hapa, Psalm 75 verse 10. Psalm 75 verse 10 ama Psalm 92 verse 10. Wacha tuwazi na Psalm. Mm -hmm. uh, Psalm. Wacha nisome. Psalm 75 verse 10 kwanza. Psalm 75 verse 10. All the ones of the wicked also will I cut off. But the, but the ones of the righteous shall I exalt. Divine promotion. Pembe za wafu zote. Nita skata. Lakini pembe za wadilifu. Nita zinua. I pray for you because divine promotion is what I call exhortation and advancement. I pray for somebody under the command of my voice. May you be exhorted in the name of Jesus. Mungu akuinue zaidi ya maandu izako. There is a way your enemies will never honor your God. And they will never respect you unless, until God exhorts you. I pray for you. Especially for those who are experiencing mockery. What you are not that help. They think you are useless. They are telling you you are, you, are, yeah, you are just another useless guy. I pray may God exhort you. Pembe za wawubu zita katwa. Lakini za wadilibu zita inuluwa. Hiyo ndio kumanisha divine promotion. is when God demotes the wicked. For the righteous to rise. May you begin to rise in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. May you begin to rise. May you begin to rise. I speak by the prophetic action in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any power of darkness, witchcraft, evil rulers, demonic canopies against your shining and your rising, I pray this moment they are scattered in the name of Jesus. They are scattered in the name of Jesus. They are scattered in the name of Jesus. May you begin to rise. Begin, begin to rise. Begin to arise and shine. Begin to arise and shine. The glory of God is, is risen upon you. The glory of God is risen upon you. Utukufu wa bwana umekuangazia. Na hii ndiyo mazaa yako ya kuinuka. Kuna mtu after this service. Everything is going just to align yourself. Kila kitu kitajepanga tu. Mambo ya likuwa na kuwa mangumu. Maombi ya mekamato. Hata kila kitu kwako kimekwama. I release and divine unlocking. Yane kufunguliwa kwa kiungu. And divine promotion in your life. And divine promotion in your career. And divine promotion in your prayer life. And divine promotion in your finances. And divine promotion in everything connected to you. In the name of Jesus. Some will say, I receive my God. 
What is a divine promotion? I'm still defining what a divine promotion is because I'm just about to take you to another level. Divine promotion is what defies human and logical qualification. Ni ile kitu inakataana na 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 mipangilio ya watu is something that defies in an opposite of logic. It goes contrary to common sense. It goes contrary I'm against human logics. Inaenda kinyume na vile watu wanatarajia. For example, you are here, you are not learned. Lakini unapata kile kiwango ama ile kile kibali Mungu amekupa is like a very learned person. Yan is when divine promotion ni wakati the favor of God is speaking upon your life. Ni wakati kibali cha Bwana kinalenga juu yako. I pray for somebody under the command of my voice. May you be unusually favored. Yani kibali kisicho cha kawaida kiwe juu yako katika jina Yesu Kristo. This is a promotion that deviates from usual protocols of life. Inakataana na mipangilio ya kawaida ya maisha. Divine promotion is when the last becomes the first. Oh my God. May you become the first. Where people termed you as the last. May God make you the first. Yani divine promotion ni wakati yule wa mwisho anafanyika wa kwanza. Na tunaweza tukaiona katika kitabu cha Genesis 37. Joseph. Genesis 37. Genesis 40. Genesis 41. Joseph was the last born in the family. But by divine promotions akawa mtu wa kwanza. Nina kuombea wewe ambaye unaotanga ndoto ambao zinaenda opposite what you are experiencing. I pray from this hour in the name of Jesus by divine promotions uanze kuota hizo ndoto na ziwe reality katika maisha yako. Zikuwe reality. Baka kile kilikuwa kinaonekana kwako wakiwezekani kianze kuwezekana. Sinipate mtu wa kuamini aseme I receive it in Jesus name. This is where by the rules are broken. Yani sheria zime unajua there are people who are coming from families where there are demonic rules. Kuna sheria za kimashetani. Sinasema ya kwamba watu wa hii familia wapata kazi lakini wasifanya maendeleo. Watu wa hii familia waolewe na wasikaya kwa ndo. Yani there are rules. Demonic rules. I pray against every satanic rule that is working against your advancement in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We umetoka familia mbazo. Zinakata watu wa kiandivans. We umetoka area. Vijiji ambazo watu wawezi wakajenga. Vijiji ambazo watu wawezi nyota zao zikanga. I pray against those rules. Izo sheria za kijiji. Izo sheria za kifamilia. Izo sheria za kambuni. Ati mutu wakija hapa, awezi akafanyika kile, wazawabi ya kile na kile. I break every demonic rule. Against your shining, against your promotion. In the name of Jesus, I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Moto wa Rome takatifu. Ndiyo, sheria zilikuwa zimewekwa wakati wa mitume. Wanasema watu, awa tunawajua, awa kusoma, wanaubiri kama akina nani, zinaitangwa demonic rules, demonic regulations. Walikuwa nasema mitume wanaubiri, lakini awa kusoma, mana kulikuwa kumewekwa sheria, ati wale wamesoma, ndiyo wataubiri. Any rule, any regulation, every special restriction against your promotion, I break it in the name of Jesus. I break it in the name of Jesus. I break it in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, receive a divine promotion in the name of Jesus. So divine promotion ni ile kitu inakataana na sheria. Kila familia ikona sheria. In every family there are do's and don'ts. Listen to me, I know what I'm talking about. In every family, there are do's and there are don'ts. Kuna wafanya hivi na wasifanya hivi. Kuna sile zinaitangwa rules, regulations, and prohibitions. Makatazo. Watu wanaambiwa wasifanyike hii. Wasifanya hii. Ati wasome na wasipata kazi. Ati wa, waolewa wasipata watoto. Yani zinaitangwa demonic rules. Demonic rules. Restrictions. Regulations. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Any rule and regulation in your life. In your background, in your family, in your area, katika hiyo plot, hiyo soko nafanya biyashara. Kila sheria inakataza kuinuka kwako. Ninaivunja kwa wezo wa damu ya Yesu Christo mwana wa mungu. Si useme hallelujah. Amen. 
So this is that promotion that astonishes your enemies. Yaani kuna kuinuka unaweza inuliwa mpaka maadui zako wanaanza kuulizana ameinuliwa aje. It happened to Moses. Moses ameitwa na Mungu, ametumwa na Mungu. Na hizo vitu ziko mpaka wa leo. There are people are, are, as long as autumiki na Mungu they are comfortable. Ukianza kutumiwa na Mungu now they are why is like kwa nini huyu anatumiwa na Mungu na sio mimi? Kwa nini pasta huyu anatumiwa? As long as sasa ni mwingine anatumiwa na Mungu they have no problem. But when it comes it is you. When it comes ni wewe sasa unabarikiwa. Watu hawaoni Mungu wanaona shetani. Lakini divine promotion ikija juu yako ni ile inafanya maadui zako wanasikia kukasirika lakini bado tu unaendelea. Oh my god. Sinaombea mtu wako hapa umezingirwa na maadui. Hapo katikati ya maadui zako uinuke uinuke kabisa. The Bible says in Genesis 26, Isaka akapanda katika inchi ya maadui. Na hapo kulikuwa na kiangazi. Lakini vile alipanda, Biblia inasema ya kwamba akavuna mia kwa mia na akaendelea kuwa na nguvu mpaka maadui wakaja wakamwambia toka hapa kwetu maana umeanza kutozidi nguvu inaitangwa divine promotion it makes you to advance anywhere in the wilderness in the desert and anywhere na hiyo ndio ninaombea mtu siku ya leo na ninapojiombea pia may god anoint us with the anointing of divine promotions yani grace ya kukuinua mahali ambapo wengine wanangangana we unainuka tu wengine wakikwama we unakwamuka in the name of jesus if you are connected type there i receive grace for divine promotions in the name of Jesus I receive grace for divine promotions I receive grace for divine promotion I receive grace for divine promotion as you type it there receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in Jesus name receive it in Jesus name receive it in Jesus name divine promotions over your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ So hii ni ile ambayo inafanya maadui zako wanasikia hivyo lakini they cannot stop you I'm telling you the Bible says he who started good works in you he is faithful to carry it unto the perfect perfection I'm unto the perfect day yani aliyeanzisha kazi njema ndani yako ni mwaminifu ataipeleka hadi mwisho ninakuombea wherever you watch me from may God give you grace for divine promotion yani uinuliwe without any man's approval you see when God decides to approve you aulizi huyu ama yule Mungu anakuinua tu Mungu anakupatia kupenya tu Mungu anakupatia kusonga tu na inaombea mtu hapa in the month of July a divine promotion from east from yani from from above is going to hit you in the name of Jesus yani a divine promotion hautajua lakini you are going to find yourself you are experiencing promotions physically spiritually financially economically socially promotions from all over promotions from all over some of you are going to receive connections yani yeah, watu watasukumwa na Mungu because of the prophetic voice ambayo imeachiliwa kwa anga yako ninaiachilia kwako people are going to be commanded by God just to come and make your own to be above wainue pemba yako ikue juu in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ some say hallelujah and oh Christ I pray for you just because of connecting with this broadcast may a divine promotion hit you from this moment may god make you favorable because divine promotion is when god gives you unusual favor yani favor is kibali kisio cha kawaida mpaka watu wanaoniswa hata sijui nampende yake nini lakini nasikianga tu kumpenda yeye nasikianga tu maana divine promotion ikiwa juu yako even your enemies will celebrate you even your enemies will pray for you even your enemies will will bless you hallelujah may you receive a divine promotion divine promotion they are they are fantastic elevations there are things we call fantastic elevations divine promotion ni fantastic elevation yani unainuliwa na Mungu unawekwa mahali ambapo everybody can see you unajua kuna kitu Mungu anakuwekanga mpaka everybody just want to see you yani there is nothing nothing just yani hakuna kitu tu tunaweza tukasema nikisu but we just we, tunapenda tu wewe yani unakuwa tu you, you, a fantastic elevation unawekwa mahali unaonekana tu unaweza kuwa hauna kitu nzuri lakini mahali umewekwa nobody can uh, ignore you and that is what i'm praying for you a fantastic elevation 
a fantastic elevation upon your life fantastic elevation upon your life yani uwekwe mahali na Mungu kiasi kwamba you will never be assumed you will never be ignored nobody will be able to ignore you wherever you are receive a fantastic elevation in the name of Jesus promotion does not come from uh, east or west or south but it comes from above for it to come from above there must be a god sent man to speak it over your life i am that man and i speak and divine promotion over your life in the name of jesus hallelujah hey kalabi kushala gadia lebra sovika tushka handia para sokozia kata god bless you and okranza kwa sababu hata ya kutuma sadaka yako kujunganisha na the divine promotion waves are now moving powerfully towards your direction a promotion from above is coming promotion does not come from east neither does it come from west or south but from above may god provoke men and women to make sure that you are promoted in the name of jesus in message in yarani it is a message for those who are feeling unqualified in message ni watu ambao wanasikia i don't qualify for anything it's like um it's like i'm not relevant this is your time for God to promote you. Wewe unasikia kwamba ustahili kwa chochote. Yaani hata ukiwa kwa mikutano you feel unworthy. This is your word. God is giving you a divine promotion in the name of Jesus Christ. This is for those who are rejected. Watu ambao wamekataliwa. This is your word. You feel like you are rejected. Ukiingia kwa watu unasikia is like you are nobody. You feel like you are rejected from the family, from the wherever you are. You feel rejected. This is your one. You need a divine promotion because God is going to give you a fantastic elevation. When God gives you a fantastic elevation, no matter who is pretending not to know your presence, they must recognize you. Amen. This message is for those who are experiencing hardships. Wale mnapitia mambo magumu. Unajua kuna watu wanafikanga mahali wanasikia kila kitu akiendi. You are working hard but nothing is adding up. That time you feel like anything everything is working against you you need a divine promotion you see it was upon joseph joseph anakataliwa na watu wakao anauziwa wageni anatoka hapo anafika kwa fortifa anainukiwa anawekwa gerezani anawekelewa yani rejection after rejection lakini akiwa gerezani divine promotion ikamlocate hata akiwa gerezani akafanyika kiongozi wa wale wengine inaitangwa divine promotion hiyo inaleta unusual favor fantastic elevation something is happening in your life in the name of the lord jesus christ tag somebody share the broadcast because i know this message kuna mtu inatafuta kuna mtu kama sio wewe basi kuna rafiki yako hapo anatafutwa anasikia kwamba amekuwa rejected anasikia kwamba i am worthless i am unworthy when you feel such kind of 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 feeling unworthy rejected and qualified this is the time god has set for you to be promoted and i release a divine promotion over your life in the name of jesus this message is for those who are being mocked you see there comes a time watu wanakudharau wanakudhiaki wanakupu yani they are like they want to tell you you are useless you are yani hauna maana when you are being mocked Sisi kama mmefika mahali na watu wakakaa ni kama it's like eh wewe umekuja hapa you don't fit in our in our in our in our congregation it's like you you don't need you don't yani wewe si yani kama wewe si mtu that time naongea na mtu huyo wa aina hiyo umefika mahali ukaanza kusikia it's like eh, watu wanaona I'm worthless you are being mocked even by the people you helped Unasaidia watu na wanafika mahali wanaanza kuonyesha you are useless. No what you need is a divine promotion. Hao wanakudharau tuko na mahali Mungu atakuweka. Na ndio nimekuambia Musa walimudharau. Wanadharau Musa sana wakamwambia we sasa wewe hata we ni kigumumizi hata ujie kuongea. Walidharau hata Daudi wakamwambia we unakuja huku kufanya nini? Lakini wait until God divinely promoted David. Wote wote waliimba wimbo wa Daudi. I pray for somebody being mocked by the people around you that mocker may it be turned to honor in the name of Jesus I say may it be turned into honor and respect in the name of Jesus divine promotion 
dismantles and destroys mockery in Jesus' name. May mockery be destroyed by divine promotion. So, where we are now, 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 divine promotion in the name of Jesus Christ. I say in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who are in spiritual wilderness, wale ambao katika njangwa ya kiroho. When you are in spiritual wilderness, what you need my brother my sister is a divine promotion. Ana alikuwa kwa ile inaitangwa spiritual wilderness. Ana mtoto, she is praying but it's like vile anaendelea kuomba ndio mashida ina multiply. At that moment of spiritual wilderness Na unajua naongea na mtu ambaye anaweza akatestify kile anasema ama anaweza akatest ya kwamba kuna wakati nimepitia kipindi ama ama anaweza sema saa hii as the more i pray is like the more problems are multiplying there are levels your prayers cannot work kuna levels maombi yako itafanya kazi unahitaji a prophetic voice ana alikuwa anaomba the more anaomba ndio madharau kwa penina inaongezeka Ndiyo like mashida inaongezeka ni kila kitu ni kama imekwama inaitangwa spiritual wilderness unaomba na vile unaomba ndio ndoto mbaya hata zinaongezeka vile unaomba ndio hata hauna pesa vile unaomba hata unangonjekea katikati ya hiyo maombi hapo sasa unahitaji a divine promotion by the prophet akuja atangaze from this moment i change your story and i pray for such a person mtu ambaye anapitia spiritual wilderness in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, may your wilderness be turned to springs of oh, ama eh, ama eh, zinaitangwe zinaitangwe aje yani ziwe kama mafuriko ya baraka katika jina la Yesu Kristo it took a prophet alisimama hivi Elisha akapata kuna wilderness katika Samaria hakuna chakula watu wanakula watoto watu wanahangaika akafika mahali kukaja mtumishi wa Mungu nabii akasema tomorrow time like now na hiyo ndio neno natamkia mtu siku ya leo kesho masaa kama haya we unapitia spiritual wilderness hata imefika to a point of physical manifestation kiro kimwili umekaukiwa tomorrow a time like now i speak by the prophetic action ya kwamba 12 hours from now let there be a fulfillment fulfillment of this prophetic declaration ya kwamba hapo kulikuwa na njangwa kutakuwa na utele katika jina la Yesu Kristo akasema kesho chakula kitashuka bei i pray for you in the name of Jesus oh my god i pray and again i pray every satanic from the, the indirect yani Chochote kinapingana na you are uh, excessive uh, flow of anointing, excessive flow of blessing. Anything that is against you are shining and against your promotion, may it be scattered in the name of Jesus. May it be scattered in the name of Jesus. May it be scattered in the name of Jesus. Unajua wakati divine promotion inakuja, kuna kuanga na maroho inapinga hiyo. Inaitangwa powers of resistance. Maro ya kupinga upenyo Anytime kuna breakthrough Kuna maro we inainuka Inainuka inasema hapana But I stand by the prophetic anointing and action To scatter every power against your shining In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Wakati Elijah nisema Tomorrow in Samaria Chakula kita shuka bay There arose a demonic resistance Lakini ya kasema you will see it And you will not enjoy it I pray for you in the name of Jesus any power, nguvu yote inapinga your divine promotion, it is hereby terminated in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Someone say amen. I can't see your amen. Meshach Mutuko, I pray for you. And divine promotion in the name of Jesus. And divine promotion. And divine promotion in the physical, in the spiritual, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Keys to Prophetic divine promotion. Nini wa kinachochea? Divine promotion. Number one. Lazima kwanza ujue hii promotion ya tokawa kwa mungu. Si mtu. Na mungu nae ata kuja kwako kama ajatumana. Kwa hivyo, mimi leo nimetumwa na mungu. Sijui ni nani and I don't know. I don't, completely I don't know what you are experiencing. But prophetically I can sense. 
and I can feel it ya kwamba there is a lot of wilderness kuna watu wanapitia njangwa na kiangazi kisicho cha kawaida kuna watu wanapitia kukaukiwa kusicho kwa kawaida Mungu amenituma hapa ni kutangazie siku ya leo ye mwenyewe anafanya mipangilio yake ya kiungu na promotion yako inaanza ku manifest from this hour 12 hours from now market market and be ready for it ya kwamba god is going to turn things around god is going to turn things around for your promotion to manifest in the name of Jesus so wale wanataka divine promotion lazima wajue kwamba promotion divine promotion unusual ama fantastic elevation huwa inatoka kwa Mungu promotion hii ya kwamba Mungu ananyamazisha those who are mocking you inatoka kwa Mungu not from men and i pray for a divine promotion in your career in your calling in your business in your spiritual life in your physical life yani Mungu akuadvance let there be an advancement let god command men and women to come and push you to push yani wainue pemba yako ikue juu to become a public figure a national figure something to turn things around from wilderness to plenty in the name of the lord jesus christ some say i receive i receive i receive hallelujah there is no self promotion so promotion must come from above and that is what i'm provoking events on your behalf so that god may advance you mungu ainue pembe yako kuna wachawi wanapingana na wewe kuna madhabahu zinapingana na wewe kuna watu wa hofu waliamua ya kwamba you will never go anywhere but according to eh, psalm 75 verse number 10 it is very clear god shall cut off the ones of the wicked mungu atakata kata pembe za waovu kuna wachawi wataremshwa man wakati mungu anainua mtu kuna mwingine huwa anashushwa na ndio maana na kuombea saa hii katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Mtu mahali ashuke uinuliwe. It constant a, a demotion of armor for Mordecai to arise. I pray for you anybody representing Amman in your life. I decree and declare there is sudden demotion in the name of Jesus. Everybody representing Amman in your life. Our principality our and divonic elder i decree by the prophetic anointing a sudden demotion for you to arise oh my god <coughs> i decree a sudden demotion for every uzia the bible says when in the year when king uzia died i saw the lord this july you will you will see the lord i say you will see the lord your uzia is going to collapse for you to see the lord Some say I receive it in Jesus name. 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 Wherever you are take it and divine promotion. And divine promotion. And divine promotion. You see and divine promotion is when God commands people who don't know you just to advertise you. Divine promotion ni wakati Mungu anatumia watu au wajui wanaanza kukutangaza. Maana inasema Daudi alipotoka kwa vita Watu walia, walikuwa naimba nyimbo. Daudi ameua maelfu ya maelfu. Sauli ameua maelfu, maku, makumi, lakini Daudi ameua maelfu ya maelfu. Yaani anatangaza hata watu wengine walikuwa naimba nyimbo za da, Daudi vile ameshinda vita, hakuwa anawajua. He never because it was his time for divine promotion. Wewe unatanzama na kunisikiza. Si Mungu afanye watu. Yaani waimbe nyimbo zako washie vitu vyako kila mahali ujulikane if you are a business person you are a preacher like me yani mungu anza kutumia one they advertise you kwingine uwezi ukafika but there are people who can be used by god to declare you in those, those realms to announce you you see divine promotion is what we call divine announcement yani unatangazwa kiungu oh my god shalibra habus kataya bakata i decree by the decree of heaven Every person who is supposed to announce you may they begin to announce you from this moment in the name of Jesus somebody type there i receive a divine promotion 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 the next thing the key to divine promotion you must show you are so faithful and responsible and effective to small things kama naye Mungu atakuja kupatia divine promotion 
Lazima ujionyeshe mtu aliye mwaminifu kwa vitu hizi vidogo vidogo. You see what meant David to be supernaturally and fantastically elevated ni kwa sababu aliaminika na kazi kidogo sana kuchunga mbuzi za baba yake. Those faithful small small things when you become faithful with those small small things it provokes divine promotion. What makes God to make us a, a fantastically elevated? Ni wakati tunaaminika na vitu kidogo kidogo. Anasema ya kwamba mkiaminika na hizi vitu kidogo hata kubwa mtaaminika. Na ndio maana anasema in the book of Zechariah, don't despise the days of humble beginnings. You might be having a very very uh, 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 like irrelevant position in wherever you are. Unaweza kuwa kile kitu uko nacho to those who are around you whatever you are having is useless and has no relevance at all. But God is just looking at you. Aminika na hizo kidogo. Something supernatural. It is a key for divine promotion. Kuaminika na vitu kidogo kidogo. Kidu. Is it kidogo kidogo tu? Kidogo kidogo tu? Like praying. Unasema when you are praying, hiyo maombi unaona unaombea mtu kidogo. Ah, potu nasamka. That thing provokes divine promotion. Do you know what meant uh, God to choose uh, Gideon to become a mighty man of war? alipatikana ali akifanya very minor duty actually the other people of Israel walikuwa wamekaa tu kwa kambi zao wanakaa tu wanajificha huko lakini this man was doing a very very humble duty alikuwa anakusanya ngano zile zimebaki kwa mashamba huko ya maadui huko actually alikuwa anaiba huko akikorokota rokota huko it is a very humble duty lakini it provoked divine promotion so being faithful with the small small things being responsible with these minor minor duties in the family in the ministry is they provoke divine promotion i pray for you in the name of jesus in any position you are in may god give you a divine promotion because i'm telling you kuna watu saa hii hii neno peke yake inabalisha maisha yenu i'm not just speaking because of speaking i'm prophetically speaking from an office that your time for divine promotion has come just by listening and following this message god is commanding people somewhere to declare a promotion over your life to provoke your lifting to provoke oh my god you are shining in the name of jesus another key to divine promotion you must learn to not to get discouraged not to get discouraged ukijifundisha kutovunjika moyo Kuto vunjika moyo you see when mockers mock you don't get discouraged don't get discouraged when people reject you don't get discouraged actually men's rejection is god's election wakati unakataliwa na watu unaangukanga kwa mikono ya Mungu vizuri sana haleluya and i pray for you in the name of jesus don't be discouraged pray hard pray again and pray again You know I was reading a very powerful scripture today. A uh, James chapter 5 verse 17. Elijah was just a, a mere man as we are. But he prayed earnestly for heavens to shut three years and a half and they, they shut. Elijah alikuwa mtu kama sisi. Na akaomba. Yeah, you see he was not discouraged by what was happening. It, there was a lot of uh, uh, hardships kulikuwa na kiangazi kulikuwa na mangumu mengi lakini hiyo hali yake mvunja moyo but this man prayed honestly the word honestly kiswahili nasema aliomba kwa bidii alikuwa mtu kama sisi so there is praying and praying honestly and i pray honestly for you in the name of the lord jesus christ ya kwamba bingu zako zinafunguka and divine promotion is locating you in jesus mighty name hallelujah You must key number the next key for divine promotion to locate you you must stir up your gift the gift of god in you yani unaichochea unaichochea you stir up the gift of god in you you stir it up you stir it up unaichochea if you are in the sense you pray hard and hard if you are a musician you sing hard and hard if you are instrumentalist yani unaigonga kuigonga if you are a preacher you preach like nobody's business 
Uwe kuna mtu anakusikiza ama hakuna preach to all creatures. Everything around you is a creature. Preach to it. I'm telling you, it is time to stir up our gifts. Because the more you stir it up, you know, David, mina sumanga mambo mingi sana Dawudi. Anapiga gitara hata akiwa na mbuzi shambani huko kwa msitu. Na hiyo nilifanya Mungu akampatia promotion. Akatoka kupigia mbuzi gitara, akaja kupiga gitara kwa ikulu. Because akudharau kile kipao alikuwa nacho. As you provoke, as you stir up the gift of God in you, may you receive a divine promotion in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Some say I receive a divine promotion. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Shalibra habus katayaba. Another key you need, you need to know about divine promotion. Divine promotion comes to the humble, but not to the proud. Divine promotion, uwe inakujia wale watu, the lowly, the humble. Wale watu, I usually say, humility is not humiliation. The more you become humble, the more you qualify to be promoted. The more you, 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 you try to think you are the one who is supposed to be promoted, the more you disqualify yourself. So promotion, divine promotion is for the humble in the art. Yondawudi anasemi ya kwamba, give me a contrite art. Yani, ni umbie moyo wenye kubondeka. Mana anajua kwamba, vile anailea kwenye nyekea, divyo nae mungu anamuinua. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Any spirit of pride. That has been looking for a way to demote you. That spirit will never defeat you and it will never win you in Jesus' name. Roo ya kiburi, uwe na malizia watu divine promotion. Hauta shushwa na roo ya kiburi. Katika jina la Yesu Christo wa Nazareth. Na kuombea maali popote ulipo. Hauta shushwa na roo ya kiburi. Because divine promotion is for the ampu. Is for the humble. Wherever you are, Alphonse, receive the spirit of humility because it wires up the forces of divine promotions. The next number, the key to divine promotion, people without a thanking art, a, a art and gratitude attitude, a heart of thanksgiving, they cannot uh, encounter divine promotion. What was you on a moyo school? Then there are people who complain, complain for everything. Let me tell you. Dio maana unaona Daudi aliimba nyimbo zingi sana za kushukuru. Enda into his gates with us giving. Mushukuru ni Mungu kwa sababu ni mwema. Yaani every time because he knew that is a key for divine promotion. Learn to thank God. When he does it or he doesn't do it, thank him. Because your complaining will only complicate the issues, but you are thus giving wires up divine promotions. So, video na lea kumshukuru mungu, and gratitude attitude, uwe na chochea divine promotions. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. You will never complain, and the more you have an attitude of gratitude, you are going to be promoted day after day, day after day, day after day, unto the perfect day in Jesus' mighty name. Number, the next number, learn to pray a prayer that attracts favor. Jifundisho kuomba maombi ambao ni ya kuomba kibana. Jesus increased in wisdom and he gained favor before men, before God and men. So you need favor. Anytime you pray, my father, my God, anoint me your favor. Anoint, because favor attracts promotion. So learn to pray a prayer of attracting favor. Mungu nipe kibali. Naomba kukubalika. Chochote nacho fine. Because men are the, the instruments that God uses to announce us in realms. Mutu wajitanga zangu, unatanga zangu. Like today, I announce you in a spiritual realm that your time for divine promotion has come. No demon can stop it. Anga basu likuwa zimekauka. Ninaachilia mvua uko sasa yanza kunyesha. Kule lukua nangangana, nimeondoa kungangana. In the name of Jesus. Because umepata kibali katika uso u. Umepata kibali katika ima na bao. I decree and I prophesy a supernatural divine promotion over your life, over whatever you do in Jesus' mighty name. The next number, learn to command the day prophetically. Jifundisho kuongeanga na siku zako. Learn to speak. So you are day. Anytime you kiamuka hivi, ongea na siku. I, I, I speak to the, the eastern winds, uh, western winds, northern winds, southern winds. Na ongea na siku, anga ya siku. Kila siku ikona anga.
kila siku iko na anga vitu vyako vile ulikuwa unataka leo zile ulikuwa unataka leo ziko katika anga ya leo zile vitu unataka kwa anga kesho ziko kesho it is only prayer that can travel to your tomorrow so unaweza ukaomba ukisema tomorrow i command my tomorrow to bring forth a, a promotion I command my tomorrow to bring forth my promotion. Naongea na kesho niletee promotion. Naongea na kesho niletee testimonies. Naongea, naongea. Command your day prophetically to favor you and to bring promotions. And I pray for everybody under the command of my voice. Tomorrow at a time like now, you'll be having a tangible testimony because ninaongea na kesho yako. Ninaongea na the next hour, the next minute. The next hour, the next minute, the next day, the next week, the next month, zikulete divine promotions wherever you are. Receive and divine promotion in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you want divine promotion, learn to work hard in whatever you do. Don't just be a, 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 a lazy person. Nimekwambia Gideoni ndio are qualified. Mungu amtumie. This man was working hard. Alikuwa anafanya kazi ndio Mungu amtumie Musa akumbata akiwa anakaa chini he was working so learn to work hard learn to jitume kwa kile zile vitu unafanya jitume jitume kwa yale mambo unafanya it provokes divine promotions some say i hear you and i receive it hallelujah divine promotions divine promotions in the name of Jesus before i finish i want to pray for someone in the name of Jesus Love God with all your heart. Seek the kingdom of God first. Kuna watu promotions zako aziko kwa hard work, ziko when you seek the kingdom of God. Kile kilifanya Anne, Anna Wheat nasoma fasi Samuel, atoke kwa utasa. Alikuwa anatafuta Mungu kwa moyo wake wote. Anakesha kwa madhabahu, hakuwa anachoka mama. Kila wakati anajituma kwa madhabahu, anajituma kwa madhabahu na kwa sababu hiyo divine promotion ikamwangukia i pray for you in the name of the lord jesus christ may you receive a heart that breaks before the lord yani upokee moyo wa kubondeka mbele za bwana moyo wa kumtafuta bwana ushiku wa leo as others are sleeping may you receive anointing and grace to seek upon the face of the lord in the name of the lord jesus christ some say my father my god give me grace to seek after your face Omba hiyo maombi. My father my God, give me grace to seek after your face. My father my God, give me grace to seek after your face. My father my God, baba yangu na Mungu wangu, nipe neema ya kutafuta uso wako. Nipe neema ya kutafuta uso wako. Give me grace to seek after your face in the name of Jesus. As you pray that prayer, receive that grace. Receive the grace. Receive the grace. Receive the grace in the name of Jesus. The son of the living God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Then the last number in Apo Malaysia broadcast ya leo. Fight for your position. Fight for your deliverance. Fight for your position. Jipiganie kwa nafasi yako. Occupy till I come. Nikuwa na soma andiko. Apa. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse number 6. And I say, you have stayed long in this place. Break the camp. Go and occupy the, the land of Canaan. So unless you fight for your position, you will never maintain your promotion. For you to maintain your promotion, you must maintain your warfare. Your position by warfare. Ya lazima upigana. Lazima uamwe kama mbaya mbaya. Upigana kwa anga. Ukatali hapo. Uzema, no demon will demote me. No power of, of, of darkness will hinder my promotion, will hinder my growth. I fight for my, pro, for my position. Occupy till I come. And you decree. Na utangazi ya kwamba, see the future because in the kingdom of God, it is from one glory to another glory. Any other thing, I defy, I, de, I, de, I denounce it, I reject it, I destroy it in the name of Jesus. I, as I finish, I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Alafu ni kuanoint. Hapo ulipo. Ni kuanoint. Karika jina la Yesu Christ. Father in the name of Jesus. I pray for my viewers all over the world. I speak special grace. Divine promotion. Mewafundisha. Psalm 75 verse 6 and 7. Promotion does not come from east or west or south or north. But it comes from above. I pray as your servant. 
in the name of Jesus. At least promotion over their lives. Let there be fantastic elevation. Mungu wa mingu, uwa inue, watumisha wa wako, ni metangaza every wilderness, Killer demonic canopy ceiling ambayo ni kuimu yako kwa anga zao. Ni meivunja na ni meitekateza. Na ni meachilia promotion. I anoint you for promotion. I anoint you with the anointing of favor. Receive favor wherever you are. Receive advancement. Receive progress. Receive betterment. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any power that was holding you in one place. I destroy that power. In the name of Jesus. Any altar that was speaking against your advancement. I destroy that altar. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I speak supernatural increase. Supernatural favor. Supernatural promotion. Supernatural miracles. I list financial breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lastly. I pray for miracle money. To locate every viewer, especially those who have connected with me by their offering. Wale wameunganika na ima thabao kupitia thabiu zao. Nina achilia miracle money. Miracle money. Video metua thabiu yako kwa ima thabao. May God bless you with money. Receive miracle money wherever you are. Receive miracle money wherever you are. Every financial drought, I destroy it in the name of Jesus. I list financial breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. And may the Lord do you well. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. See you tomorrow. And Masaya kama ayo. Keep tuned on that page. Tutakuwa na maombi ya fujo. Leo hii. We might come online. Lakini najua mungu. Kuna kitu anaenda kutenda. Kama umeunganika na hii broadcast. Tomorrow. Saha kumina mbili. Be ready to testify. Because I will be here. To hear from you. To receive your testimony for the glory of God. Bye bye for now. And may the Lord do you well. In just name. Amen and amen. God bless you.